It's after you've already taken one straight up. You know, lots of mistakes in game one from KT. They they give one game away, but I'm sure they're very forcing the flash out. Here comes score, an immediate exhaust. Maha very low too. Pawn actually using his ultimate to jump on in, but no can do. And here comes Ian. A couple of these members of KT are pretty low. If he can land a big shock blast, that would be nice. We'll see what Ooh. he can get. Nice! Right onto Depth and Pawn. Tons of damage coming up. The Devour onto Pawn. Will it be enough though? The damage, first blood going over to Brand. And MVB able to convert after a... Just one kill, but very big at this point in the game. Uh-oh. And in a bit of trouble, does get slow. There's the ultimate from Smab. They are going to try to dive this one. Ultimate onto score, but it will be enough. Smab able to take that kill. A really big pickup for KT. Not quite sure uh, what Beyond's doing. Yeah, I don't know about this, especially, you know, Ian's coming on in, but this oh. is going to turn into a 3v2, but hold that thought. Smab getting very low. Teleport as well. That's going to be a kill onto Smab. Just eating that shock blast once again. Would need it more so than Ian. Kurt and Paul coming like, out. It looks like they're going to need it. Here we go. Teleport even coming in from Smab too. They want these kills. They should be able to. Can they convert though onto Mata? They do get that one kill, but both of them will go down. And keep in mind, we do have it. Look at this, actually. Smep trying to get a cheeky kill, and he does onto Max. But look at that damage coming out of Kogma, trading one for one. Here comes Mata very deep underneath that turret. Going to use that Grey Health, and Score wants to come on in, but Beyond is here. But still, look at this. Depth, Mata, and Pawn, and Beyond. Looks like he went maybe a little bit too far. Does trade the one kill for it. Pawn as many minions as possible. Oh, look at this. The Deadly Flourish with the curtain call. Lots of damage coming out from Ian, but even with the exhaust, dodging everything, trying to stay, though. Not sure about that. As not massive. Hold that thought. Here comes Score. Trying to use that Thrill of the Hunt to jump on to Ad, and there's the Rumble Ultimate. That should be a dead Camille. Down she does go. Just pushing a little bit too far. Okay, so is it worth it in the end? Lots of damage still coming out onto Ma. Looks like he may have gotten a little bit too far forward. Exhaust used onto Beyond. Will attempt to get out there. Looks like he will teleport in from Smep. He wants that damage. The Zonia is actually completed. And so he will survive for now, but will he go down? Yes, he will. And though very, very low and will be burst down by Pawn there right at the end. Nice dodge by Ian to get out. It looks like it was eight. And Pawn failed to lock up Ian there right at the end. Oh, Ed misses that one. Almost a, a beat in a way. Here comes Kazix. But now Mata joining on in, and that's going to be a double kill for Smeb. The reverse, reverse going in the. Come into mid lane, continuously just scale up, but we're going to see a fight. Maha, uh -huh. oh, he does not have his flash available, and down goes Brand 2. That's that death corridor that if he's maneuvering from them. They're not going to stop there. They want to get onto Ian. The exhaust being used, and he's just all alone. Going to go down, taking away his ability to poke their team at all. Well, looks like Smab trying to eat away some of Beyond's jungle, but this is almost unnecessary, and they might pay for it yet again. Yeah, it's not the first time they made a mistake in this series. Mata gets caught out. Beyond forced to flash away from Smab's damage, but that's two kills already. It's kind of just given back to by KT. Taking out another control ward. Pawn, they really want to engage on here. The curtain call slows up beyond. That should be his life. And there you go, Mana very low, but look at how many kills they're able to convert in here. Ed is behind everybody. Might try to get on in here. Does pick up Mana. Now they're able to secure death on the left side. And a huge amount of poke damage going down. Kogba able to take out Rise and now score on the run. Oh. MVP somehow able to get this back, taking out Rengar in the back. Now only Smep left over. If he can jump and get that stun, he does. And that damage should be enough. Oh. The quadra kill for Ed and the ace for MVP. Can Deft and Mata somehow stop this? Ian and Ma are very, very low, but there's the Baron. Given on over to MVP. Beyond is My going sacrifice. for this. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> going in. He's like, yeah, I'm going to 1v2. But uh, no, he's not, as he does get killed there. Uh, maybe some of the exact type of mistakes that have been costing KT so far in this series. Go home, pick up the Wits End, get the Guardian Angel on Ed, 
then take a team fight. There's no reason to force this. Well, they're going to force it, and well, Smith okay. gets destroyed. A couple of stuns there. I think that might have been before. Ian could have recalled home right now and teleported to a minion, and with the death timer on Smith, they could have locked up the Nexus turrets, but they're choosing to be really greedy right here. Yeah, we're talking about that there, and here we go. The curtain call coming on in. Max very low. Oh, we're going to hit beyond in the back. This is that greed you're talking about. They have to get away, but here comes Ryze. Ian going to be jumped on. And Ryze does not take that teleport very, very smartly. Max, though, trying to turn this around. He does get the kill into Rangor. Oh, oh. oh, they're turning this around. The double kill now, and the stun there from Ed. And oh, no. KT, they try to get this. Here's Smeb. He should be able to put out a ton of damage. Has his ultimate available. And he lined it up, gets it on to Mama. Whoa! There it is, gets Death. the stun onto Deft, and down he goes. Now Smeb is the only one left over. It's three versus one, he gets him, and Ed is alive! MVP, they've taken another fight, another ace. And Ed's they're gonna alive. go for the inhibitor. He has teleport. If they can get this wave into the turret, Maha, Beyond, and Ed I think they should be able to raise the Nexus turrets, despite the fact that score is coming up. He doesn't have his ultimate available to him. One of the minions tanking, I think that's what they're waiting for. Uh, they didn't even elect to lock up the turret, but they are have they, Wrecker. Are they going to do this? I mean, we have the spawn on Mata. Cor score coming up, too. And they may have overstayed their welcome. They should have actually just sacrificed both of their lives in favor of the Nexus turret. And instead, they choose to run, but it's a poor decision because if you look at the map right now, you could have had Ian and Max push in mid lane. Would have been no minions there. You know that Cloud Drake does absolutely nothing for KT right now. Bottom lane is a complete wreck. Top lane, no minions. They see Ryze attempt. They really just want to force a fight, and that they will with that Camille jumping on into Mata. But look at everybody grouped up here. Ad taking so much damage, but that's going to be two kills. Taking out Rumble and Mata. Jumping out to Pawn now. Can they get that damage? He does have the Zonias. Score extremely low, too. Pawn survives, able to flash the wall. And there's the curtain call. Red's the inhibitor. With the Trinity Force, he could also just kill the turret quite quickly. Oh, oh and he my gets the God. steal! Beyond gets the steal, and the inhibitor goes down! KT in an awful spot now. What are they going to do? They're just going to attempt to escape. But down goes the Baron to MVP, and down goes the inhibitor once again. The inhibitor goes down, score, dives right in, able to kill Max extremely quickly. Oh, boy. Mana. Able, Ma rather able to get that kill, but on the run now. Score does have the GA, look at it, look at the main. Ed, is he able to end this one? The teleport forced out here. He's just gonna get that Nexus turret and back off. He gets the Nexus turret and he backs up. Elder Drake, will they be able to commit here? Bit of poke damage. It's about 5v3 here, so they're not going to be able to. That would essentially just be suicide at this point, so they have to give on over. They're, they're able to push in here with the Elder Drake, but trying to force a fight is KT. Even MVP. going to come on in. Here's Smeb. He's not able to. Sonya's even. Just goes down immediately. Pawn just get devoured, and uh-oh. A little bit of a dire situation for KT. Score in the back lines. Pawn just get beyond here, but score goes down, and now it's 4v3. And still the push coming on in. You can see Pawn expressly oh. low, and he goes down. And now there's only two members left. This might be the game That's here it. for MVP. They have Baron. Ed has Guardian Angel available to him. There's going to be absolutely no chance for That's Death to Mata. Unbelievable. That's going to be a 2-0 by MVP over KT. They've done it. They take it. And there you go. 2-0 victory in tonight's LCK. Going to MVP. And this probably.